Hello everyone! The topic that we are going to learn is Describe how the contractility affects stroke volume. Contractility is known as cardiac means the strength of myocardial contractions at any given preload. If the contractility is high, more blood is pumped and vice versa. Stroke volume is the amount of blood ejected by left ventricle to the body during each contraction measured in ml per beat. We can measure the stroke volume by using n diastolic volume minus n systolic volume. EDV is the amount of blood in ventricle during filling period, while EST is the amount of blood remain in ventricle after contractions. So, stroke volume is equal to EDV minus ESV. Three factors that determine stroke volumes are preload, contractilities, and afterload. As a result, contractility is directly proportional to stroke volume. Contractility is cardiac contractions that occur independently of end diastolic volume. Change in contractility is equal to the rate of calcium movement into cytoplasm. Factors affecting contractilities are sympathetic stimulations, parasympathetic stimulations, hormone regulations, release of catecholamines, change in muscle cells, inotropes, and afterload. Increasing contractility. How the contractility of heart increase? Increase the rate of calcium inflow, ventricle contract more forcefully, then more stroke volume is ejected. For sympathetic stimulation, when the calcium movement into the cytoplasm increases, the affinity of myofilament towards the calcium ion increase. More ectomyosin cross which are formed, the contraction is more forcefully. The presence of more epinephrine increases the calcium ion influx. Extracytonic calcium ion will allow myocyte to generate more force. Next is afterload. When afterload increases, resistance increases, the heart will contract stronger. The positive inotropes is a medicine that strengthens the heart contraction. When the stroke volume increases, the cardiac output increase. This is especially for the patient with myocardial infarction. How about decreasing contractility? Decreasing contractility. When the weight of calcium ion influx decreases, the ventricle will contract less forcefully. The stroke volume ejected is lesser. The first factor will be the parasympathetic stimulation. When we increase the firing of parasympathetic nerve fiber, the contractility will be decreased. The second factor will be the change in the number of muscle cells. When the muscle fiber decreases due to the myocardial infarction, less muscle fiber is contract during systole. Thus, there will be less contractility. Next, is the negative inotropes. Negative inotropes is a medicine that weakens the heart contraction, especially for the patient who has hypertension. Remember that the contractility is not equal to the contraction with the changes in muscle length. The force of contraction is following the frank Stalling law. When the EDV increases, the muscle wall will stretch more. The contraction increase, thus the stroke volume will be increased. When the contraction force increase, the line of the graph increase. It will never be shifted. But with the presence of positive inotropes, the curve will be shifted to the left. With the presence of negative inotropes, the graph will be shifted to the right. We hope you enjoyed this video. That's all from us. Thank you.